That, these are the levels that we have stabilized and, and grown steadily over the past years because that's what Canada needs to continue to have a strong economy and strong communities. However, over the past few years, we've seen a massive spike in temporary immigration, whether it's temporary foreign workers uh, or uh, whether it's international students in particular that have uh, grown at a rate far beyond uh, what uh, Canada has uh, been able to absorb. Look, we all know who is at fault here. What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? Good evening, you're watching Government Funded News. Independent and former Liberal MP Han Dong has admitted that foreign students living outside of his riding had voted in his Liberal nomination race in 2019 while testifying at the Commission on Foreign Interference. When asked why he didn't present this to the Commission earlier, he said that he didn't view it as a regular. Yeah, nothing irregular about falsifying documents and threatening the visas of, uh, oh, and busting around a bunch of Chinese teenagers so they'll vote for you in a nomination race. Totally normal stuff. Uh, everything's under control, situation normal. What happened? Uh, I had a slight Election. malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine, we're all fine here now, thank you. How are you? When asked if they would change their policy to disallow international students from voting in national conventions, the Liberal Party responded that their party constitution and bylaws are the result of thousands of registered Liberals debating and voting at national conventions to update and amend these documents, and that's how they've been able to build the most open and inclusive movement in Canadian politics, and any amendment would follow that same process. So that's a fucking no. You might as well vote for Xi Jinping. They're so inclusive that they included a Chinese government asset even after being made aware of it. Yes. It's okay. I have money. According to a new poll, 80% of Canadians oppose a recent pay raise for members of parliament. Thanks to the recent hikes, even backbench MPs will be making over $200,000, while the prime minister is projected to receive over $400,000. Are you sure I should be reading this? Now, some misguided Canadians may be opposed to giving MPs more money. Well, Canadians are spending less on food than in recent years, despite everything costing more. But those people are wrong and stupid and probably racists. If anything, MPs are still underpaid, even after this raise. If Trudeau made a bit more, maybe he wouldn't be bribed by staying at some guy's beach house. Although he might go anyway. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We're not gay! Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I have many gay friends. My father's gay. From chocolate to home insurance, climate change is making life more expensive. The rising cost of cocoa is just one example of heatflation and proof of how climate change is hitting our pocketbooks. Some have blamed the disruption of the COVID-19 pandemic, the resulting government stimulus, low interest rates, low unemployment, or the carbon tax. But global warming is an underappreciated factor. Yes, it's global warming. It's definitely nothing that's the government's fault. And no, the answer is not more taxes. Veterans Affairs would like to wish members of the Canadian Forces and the RCMP a happy March holiday season. Well, what's the holiday? Oh, it looks like they have uh, eggs in that picture. Is there some kind of spring holiday with uh, eggs associated with celebrations? Hmm. Nah, I can't figure it out. I'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. Look at that one, huh? An Ontario person is seeking publicly funded surgery to construct a vagina while keeping their penis. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Thanks for watching Go FU News. And remember, we need to continue getting subsidies so that we can keep publishing propaganda from staffers in the Prime Minister's office about the new legislation which will be used to curtail free speech without telling you who they are. Good night.